everybody. Welcome to World of Bodybuilding's first Q&A video. My name is Mick Weigel and I'm trying to answer your questions as good as I can. And the first question is from Ximo Mascarell. Have you ever seen the anabolic diet? Any opinions about it? Yes, I know the anabolic diet. Um, sometimes it's called ketogenic diet. Why? Because the whole thing, the whole key is to get into ketosis. But let's, uh, let's um, define the whole thing a little bit. What are you doing? 30 grams of carbs for five to six days. Then you have carb up days, low fat days, moderate protein for 36 to 48 hours. So generally speaking, one to two days, you have those carb up days. And the key is to, or, or the, the purpose of the whole thing is to get into, the, in, into ketosis. Ketosis is um, the state of the body where it accepts fat as the primary energy source let's call it that as simple as I can as I can put it um, normally you would say calories from protein 30% from fat 60% and from carbs 10% but the 30 grams and the 10% they don't match okay so the, the, the percentage um, to give advice on nutrition on macronutrients um, with um, with percentages is pretty outdated because it just doesn't fit um, with the normal needs you have make uh, a macronutrient uh, macro uh, nutrient wise it's important not to go and not to exceed um, about one gram per one gram of protein per pound body weight because your body has a process that's called gluconeogenesis gluco is a sugar ne neo is new and genesis is a creation so sugar new creation um, where it just converts protein into carbohydrates or into blood sugar so you're gonna drop out of ketosis again and that's not that's not too good in inside or being in the anabolic or ketogenic diet so this is a diet what am I thinking about it? I'm thinking about it three, thi three things to consider. One, uh, the most important one for me is that it does not over trump uh, the, 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 um, the caloric deficit or the, the caloric restriction. So you have to consume less calories than you're burning to lose fat. So if you have to do that, why put yourself through uh, those 30 grams of carbs? Because that's pretty, that's pretty rough. That's pretty intense for a lot of people. And that's, that brings me to my second point, actually. Um, it has to fit your daily routine or your lifestyle. So if you always like, crave those carbohydrate foods, carbohydrate-rich foods, this diet is not for you. You will drop a lot of weight at first because as soon as you cut carbs out of your diet, um, your body will just flush out water really, really fast. But then it will just stand if you're not in a caloric deficit. Um, and the third one is I would not recommend it if you decide to go into or to uh, like execute the anabolic diet. Uh, you should not go uh, longer than three to four months. I think a couple of reasons why. First of all, you have to think about the sodium-potassium relation. As long as it's consistent, it's okay, but this could mean uh, go, cutting the carbs and going into fatty, uh, meaty uh, foods, fat, fat meat. Um, could be a lot of sodium. A lot of people are seasoning with a lot of salt, with a lot of sodium. So it's not consistent, probably. And you should not be inconsistent much longer than three, four months. Uh, months because I think that is like the, the limit for it being unhealthy to be inconsistent uh, sodium wise uh, second point saturated fats unsaturated fats it should be around 50 50 I think then you're then you're on a safe spot but um, with the with the fatty meat that you normally eat um, during the anabolic diet I think it is pretty hard to accomplish um, a nutrition plan that has uh, unsaturated fats in there and like 50-50. I think that's hard. If it's not for you, you can forget that point. And my third point or like the third, third reason for why not longer than three to four months is because I think you're losing sight of the big picture because you're just eating uh, pretty much the same foods every single day. And after a while, you will just go, okay, this is just 
I mean, life is not, not fun anymore in, in the anabolic diet, in, in my opinion and in my experience. I've, I've, I've been in it, I've tried it, it was, it was okay. Uh, the, the, the lighter I got body weight wise, the harder it was. Um, so I think, why put yourself and your body through the 30 grams of carbs and the, and, and the lots of fat when you just can go with carbs, moderate fat, moderate, uh, uh, moderate protein and moderate fat, just go into a calorie restriction or a caloric deficit and you'll be fine. I think it's not necessary to lose muscle. It won't work better than just a normal calorie deficit or caloric deficit with carbs in there. So why put yourself through it? If you love those fatty meats and, and like vegetable oils and nuts, the, the anabolic diet is for you. But if you crave and if you like the carbohydrate foods, the anabolic diet is nothing for you. I hope Ximo Mascarel, that was the guy that asked the question, I hope I could answer uh, your questions that may occur. Um, this was my first English video. This is a third take that I'm doing, so I hope it's okay. It's okay for you. It was understandable. Um, I hope it wasn't long, long enough, uh, not too long. And next time we are with, uh, back with the question of Hamza Naki, one size, lightweight or heavy. So I will see you in the Q&A number two, World of Bodybuilding. Thank you and take care.